under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the San Francisco Giants and the Cincinnati Reds. It's Baseball on the Show, and it's coming up next. Luis Castillo is on the mound for game two. What do you have for us on him, Danny? You know, Matt, it's awfully tough getting a lot of no decisions as a starting pitcher, but he was able to pick up his first win of the year in his last start. Hopefully, his mojo starts turning around. Now Leading into the box, to Tommy LaStella, and we are the set for baseball base. here this Tommy. evening. LaStella. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. And, guys, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, they've had it going the last 10 games. They're 7-3 and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, guys, this team is certainly coming together. Everyone, we were down there before the game. There's a fight at the bat rack right now. They won in huge blowout fashion yesterday, and they're looking to continue that offensive surge in this one. And we'll see some 40s before things are said and done tonight. Right now, 51 degrees at first pitch. Two balls and a strike. Hey, guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour. On a night like tonight where it's super cold out, if you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Popped him up. Vado in foul ground. One out. And here's how the visiting San Francisco Giants line up in this one. Dero, tell us about this lineup as they try to force a rubber match in the series. Matty, the key in this one for this lineup is they got to stay staunch in the middle of the plate. They can't start swinging at everything or this guy will abuse them. He'll start flipping up the rosin bag. They have to sit over those 17 inches and hold to that. Outside. Mauricio Dubon comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Seared down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Yeah, Matty, you see the same pitch three times in a row and you find yourself down one and two in the count. Your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it four times or do nope, I have to sit on something else? And that's going to be high two and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Okay. One out, nobody on. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The next 3 2. Is taken high, but for a called strike three. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Stepping in now, Donovan Solano. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Comes in with an average of 265. Five homers and 14 driven in. Pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike.
Bases are empty here with two men out. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Mike Yastrzemski would be next. The 3 1. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3 2. Hit back up the middle. Throw on the bottom will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. The Giants down in order. Now it'll be the Reds' turn. No score. Alex Wood gets the start for San Francisco in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a left-hander throw from a unique arm angle. Alex Wood from that low three-quarter delivery. He's really a nightmare of the lefties. The key for Alex Wood throwing strikes with his secondary pitches, if he can do that, he's a guy that can get quite a few swings and misses. I expect him to pitch well in this one. Nick Castellanos now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here it comes. Guys, you take a look at the Giants as they begin play here tonight. Despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they'd been on a nice little roll here. Yeah, Matty, I think if you would have asked the manager of this team, first five games of this road trip, you're going to go four and one. He would have signed that in blood. So let the, oh, let the guys continue to play the way they've been playing. Everything is going nice right now. The so 1-1. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well thrown pitch, though. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. In now, Nick Senzel. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. 281, the average entering play. Still without a home run and seven driven in. Fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Hey. The ballman, two strikes. Wood, a former Dodger, he signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. So up steps the former MVP, Joey Votto, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. The numbers on the year, 272, six home runs and 21 driven in. The 1-0. Hey. Gonna be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hey, this guy's dialed in right now. Two strikeouts and still working ahead. This is gonna be a tough test for the offense. Two out, nobody on. Fouled off.
set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Reds turned away first time through. We'll go on to the second in Cincinnati. Still scoreless on the show. Mike Yastrzemski digging in at the plate. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Mike Yastrzemski. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch as he looks at a fastball that misses That's off the plate for ball one. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 and now. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. Down low, oh, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Here's the 3-0. Three and one. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. That is the left fielder, Alex Dickerson. And that'll bring up the big bat of Alex Dickerson. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hey! Yastrzemski aboard here at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty, we got a good one behind the dish today in Ed Drummond. Well liked by all people, pitchers, batters, managers. All you want as a player is the ability to talk to someone. And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Zero, you hit a nail right on the head. He has a real long fuse. He's not afraid to let a hitter or a pitcher. I'm not going to say complain about a particular pitch, but he's not the guy that's going to get mad and throw somebody and give him the boot just because a guy doesn't like a pitch or a pitcher thinks that a pitch is a strike and they call it a ball. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Bell. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. One ball and one strike to the Giants' first baseman. No score here as we play inning number two. Runner goes for second, and it's fouled away. One and two, here it comes. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Hit to first, taken in by Votto. There's one. Relay to Votto's in time at first, and it's a double play. Side retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied nothing nothing. Last half of the second set to go, and standing in is the veteran third baseman, Eugenio Suarez.
first pitch of the A.B. on its way. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. The throw to first is in time, one down. Boy, he's really on a roll on the hill right now. As we roll through it again, remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Plate now, Mike Mustakis. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He'll enter play with an average of 311, 10 home runs, and 19 driven in. The 1 0 home. The bouncer to the left side, and in the left field for a one out hit. Hey, not a bad pitch right there. Off-speed pitch down in the zone. You thought he would set that up pretty well. The previous pitch was a real good fastball. Up. Yeah, I think the hitter was sitting all over that one, Dan. I really do. He saw that fastball up for show. I think he thought to himself, here comes the off-speed. Next up will be Kyle Farmer. Off for that and missed. Here's the throw. Is there, and he's out trying to take second. Well, so much for that first hit of the game. Tried to press their luck and move him up to second with a steal, but it didn't work out. A one pitch on its way. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Made him look silly with that one. Sent out to straightaway center field. Dubon has it, and the side is retired. Clearly enjoying their time here at the ballpark, as are we. Too complete, still scoreless here on the show. So stepping in is Wilmer Flores. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First pitch coming, here it is. As he'll take a look at ball one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Now the 1-0. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded by Mustakis. Throw in time at first. A nice play in short right for the first out. Good range shown off into the hole right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. So now to the plate, Kirk Casale. And he puts it on the ground to second. Mustakis has it. Throw in time at first for route number two. Batting up. The pitcher, Alex Wood. So in now for San Francisco, Alex Wood. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. First pitch of the A.B. now. As he tries to go out and get the slider, but it's not there. It's strike one. Giants are still searching for their first hit of the ball game. And he falls behind 0-2.
Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we are tied nothing nothing. In now for the Reds, Nicky Delmonico, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. The 1 0 home. Grounded up the first baseline. And this is past belt on down the line. A fair ball. The throw into second. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. No doubt about it. He was looking fastball all the way there. And that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out. Runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here. Into the box, Davey Grion, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Oh, 1 here's the pitch. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Delmonico leads off second with nobody out. Hard hit ball to short taken in by Flores. Well, that's out number one. So now here is Luis Castillo looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. And now the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and oh. Can't fall behind against the pitcher. Need to minimize pitch count against the easy outs, and this is certainly one of them. The 2-0 -oh on the way. It's amazing how guys can lose focus sometimes when the weaker hitters come up, especially the pitchers. You got to stay on the attack and minimize pitches and get these guys out in a hurry. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And that's finally over for a strike. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Swings through it for strike number two. Oh, man, was that a hack. He's trying to create his own run support with a swing like that. Now the three and two pitch. Pops this one up. Casale over to his left. Two down. The right fielder, number two. Nick, Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A -bit. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swing and a drive. Now to get that one, you'll need a 50-foot ladder to make the catch. A no-doubt home run. So a 
two-run homer down the line in left. Home run number five on the year, and it's given Cincinnati a two-to-nothing lead. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. To the plate now, Nick Senzel. As the first pitch years have been high, it's ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. A ball hits softly on a line to third. And a diving effort, but it's out of his reach. A foul ball. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Ball three. Three and two now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. This one skied out toward right. Back goes Yastrzemski. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. One more for the Reds, and it comes on this home run. We played three full, 2-0 Cincinnati. Back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring in Tommy LaStella to bat next. Offense needs to get going right here. You want to try and tighten up this game a little bit before it starts to get into that territory where you're going to start seeing the back end of each bullpen. No balls and a strike to count. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck. You're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. The 1-1 one, one home. I'm shocked he was even able to foul that one away. Now he's got to set his sights back over the heart of the plate and maybe be ready for something inside. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Senzel's got it, and there's one gone. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And, whoa, you see the big number. How about 99 for a top speed? Not too many guys around the league can match that. So bases are empty with one gone. And stepping up now will be Mauricio Dubon. First pitch on its way. And he swings oh, through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North-South. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the East-West we came up playing. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now. 0-2. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Delmonico waits on it, and that's the second out of the inning. 
Now batting the third baseman, Donovan Solano. Next to stand in is Donovan Solano, grounded out in his last at bat. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Hey, a two out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Swing and a miss, strike two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. This is skied into short left center. Delmonico coming in. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Giants are down 1-2-3. They're still down. It's 2-0. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to talk about the state of the Reds' offense with their manager between innings. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Thank you, Heidi. In is Joey Votto now, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air to center field. Dubon has it, and there's one gone. number seven, Eugenio. Stepping in once again is Eugenio Suarez, struck out in his first at-bat. Here's the pitch. Oh, and he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. You know, I doubt he wanted to get that tight with the fastball there, but hey, this is a guy you certainly don't want to let him get his arms extended. He's the kind of guy that can hurt you. Now the 1-0. Is looked at for the first strike. A good fastball that backed him off the plate. And then some slow stuff down and away. That's one of the classic ways to mess up a hitter's timing. Up and in, down and away, textbook. And he takes a cold strike two. Line hard, deep into left. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with knocks will help you sleep better at night, Dan. Into the box now, Mike Mustakis. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Moustakis, or just Moose for short. He was a first-round pick back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Open stance by Moustakis, and now the pitch.
fouled away. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. And there's out number two. Good pitch right there to run the two seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as a result. In now, Kyle Farmer as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Suarez at third with two away. Mine to the right side. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. Reds leave one. They're up two to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Giants lineup with their manager, Gabe Kapler, and he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. Next, it'll be Alex Dickerson. First delivery to him. Aye. The wind up and the 0 1. Lifted the other way out to left center. Chasing after his Delmonico. It's in there, and the Giants look to have an extra base hit on their first hit of the game. And he'll reach second now with one away. The first baseman, number nine, Brandon Bell. Stepping in now, Brandon hey. Belt. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0 and 1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey. 0 and 1, here it comes. Hey. Sinker on the inside, and that's a strike. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Fouled off. The 0-2 once more. Nope. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. One out and a runner on second base. Weak rounder back to the mound. And that's the second out. Up next to the Giants, the shortstop, Wilmer. Next, it'll be Wilmer Flores, runner in scoring position with two gone. And 
And now the first pitch. One oh. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Hit weakly back to the mound. So they do get their first hit, but their first run will have to wait as the inning is over. So put another zero on the board as they've been held scoreless through five. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Reds two and the Giants nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Nicky Delmonico. Nicky Delmonico. First offering on its way. Oh, that's out. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Oh, that's inside. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Now the 2 1. Inside ball three. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Three one, and this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. His heart sank right there when that ball met the bat, but just had him out front just enough to give him another shot at potentially putting him away. And he popped him up. Silvano is over, and he puts it away for the first down. So the next to bat will be Davey Grillon. He bounced out last time up. First pitch on the way. Nope, not that. Two runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Ball two. That missed. Close. Two and oh. It's ball two. He may be down 2-0 after those first two pitches in this A-B, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. To the left side, but it's well foul. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. Two gone in the Cincinnati fifth. And digging in to hit next, it'll be the pitcher, Luis Castillo. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter-friendly, it's been a treat to watch. Now the pitch. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Here comes the 1 2. Grounded to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Reds are down in order, but they're on top two to nothing.
into the box. Kurt Casale will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Matty, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yep, that ball went and out. it looks now like a right-hander's getting hot in the Giants' bullpen. The 1-0 home is swung on and missed in that one strike ball, one. one. Strike. Swing and a miss as he ran that in on him. A ball and two strikes. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. The one-two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And the sixth inning opens with a fly out, one away. Now that the pitcher, Alex Wood. Evan Longoria steps into the on-deck circle now, looking to start something here with one gone in the inning. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball here, 0-1. 258 the average to begin play. Three homers and eight runs batted in. And it's quickly 0-2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Still no balls and two strikes. One out, nobody on. Try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. I think that's one of the toughest calls for an umpire to make. The check swing appeal, hitters rarely feel like they went, and I don't think he likes getting rung up there by the first base umpire, but looking at it, it's hard to say for sure that he didn't go around. Tommy LaStella is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. It's 1-0. Here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. Giants down in order. They trail things here two to nothing. Your Nick Tropiano enters to do the now pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 63. Nick Tropiano. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And the right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. And that home run he hit his last time up, he isn't going to forget about anytime soon. He absolutely destroyed a fastball. First pitch on the way. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. This one's down to third. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. And this will go down as an E5 as you can see the exasperation on his face. Next to hit, Nick Senzel. Lead-off man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. And the pitch. 
There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Now some action out in the Giants' bullpen as they'll have both the left-hander and a right-hander get loose. Castellanos on at first. Nobody out. A ball and a strike. Swing and a drive. Uh, to get that one, you'll need a 50-foot ladder to make the catch. A no-doubt home run. So a two-run homer down the line in left. His first home run of the season as the Reds have now taken a 4 to nothing lead. Hey, every once in a while, this speed guy will jump up and bite one. He absolutely crushed that baseball. Doesn't fit his usual tool description, but he can go deep if you leave one over the heart of the plate. Into the box, Joey Votto. A ball and no strikes. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Lifted the other way out to left center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Third baseman, number seven, Eugenio Suarez. So now the Reds' cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez. He doubled his last time up. First delivery to him. Still only one out in the inning. 0-2 the count to Suarez. And he fouls this one off. Now another 0-2. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work, but now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Next up is Mike Moustakis. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0-0, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Two out, nobody on. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. But the Reds do push across a couple on this two-run home run. The two, three, four hitters now to start the seventh. It's now 4 nothing in favor of the Reds. New inning set to get underway, and standing in the outfielder, Mauricio Dubon. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. The 1-0. Is swung on and missed. Strike one. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. And here's a fastball. Not close as he runs it to 2-1 now. 
Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Great A-B up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Now the payoff pitch home. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Delmonico is right there, and he puts it away for the first down. The third baseman, number seven, Donovan Solano. Next to bat for the Giants, Donovan Solano flew out last time up. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot, time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality A.B.s. Fouled away. Circle change here, but it's taken for ball two. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Now the 2-1 pitch. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Time to wake up the offense right here. 3-1 count. All in on something over the heart of the plate. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by, but on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take, and a walk is the result. Now with the plate is Mike Yastrzemski. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set. Here it comes. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. The 1-0. 2-0. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. and now the 2-0. Okay. Your offense goes out and gives you a four-run cushion. You have to find a way to stop struggling. Compose yourself and get your mechanics on point. It'd be a shame to let this one slip away. Solano leads off first with one away. There's a strike as he gets this one over. It's three and one now. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Fastball in there, three and two. Can't come out of his game plan right here. He knows he's a known sinker baller. I know it was a four-seamer right there, but get back to that two-seam. It's what his M.O. is. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. Up next, Alex Dickerson. He doubled his last time through. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, get you a ribby. From the belt, kicks and deals. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Two out with the man at first. Fouled off. Obviously, he's not fatiguing whatsoever. Still in the mid to high 90s with his fastball. These guys got to stay on the attack if they're going to have a chance. 1-1. Lifted down the line and left. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, 
keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides of the plate, good command of the off-speed pitches, very little traffic on the bases. So far, he couldn't have drawn up to be any better than he has been so far in this one. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two-thirds. Yeah, he's grinded this one out, and he's got a chance to get through seven strong innings, Dan. That's got to light the bullpen up. Yeah, and it does, Mark, because you sit out there in that bullpen, and once that starter gets through the fifth and through the sixth inning, the, the tension starts to calm a little bit out in that bullpen where you only have to get six or seven outs, not eight or nine outs. So a job well done so far. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. One left for San Francisco. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Bottom of the inning now. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Kyle Farmer. First pitch on the way. Looks like the Reds are going to have some stirring in the bullpen as a lefty's begun to heat up down there. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. And that's the first down. Now back, left view. Dickie. Del Bonico. Next up is the sneaky pop of Nicky Delmonico. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Now here's the first offering. Wind up and the 0-1. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line. But that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. At the plate, Davey Grillon. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. And it's fouled away. Hey, I don't blame him for fouling that one away. His eyes lit up right there. He did not expect to change up up in the zone with two strikes. Got to regroup. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Reds. They lead it. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Noah Ramirez will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Tucker Barnhart will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Ready to begin the eighth and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Brandon Belt. Go. 
And the pitch. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. The 1 0. Misses for the second ball. And now a right hander's begun to loosen up in the Cincinnati bullpen. Two well count the pitch. Well, that's ball three. The Giants right now are looking for base runners. They'd love to start this inning with the leadoff walk. 3-0 pitch. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Next to dig in, Wilmer Flores. He grounded out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Loop down towards short. Well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. And he will hustle back to first as he thinks better of trying to move up. And now in the box, Kurt Casale. He flew out in his last A.B. First pitch of the A.B. now. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Great pitch right there. That is a huge breaking ball. Not shocked he took it. Got to calibrate that one for a second. This is on the ground over to first. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. Austin Slater will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. for San Francisco. Number 13, Austin Slater. From the belt, the pitch. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. and He'll check in here at 256. Three homers and 17 RBIs. The 1-0 is in there for strike one. Belt over at second. Casale is over at first with one away. In the dirt here. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. He got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Here's Tommy LaStella now, and with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Two men are on with two men out.
One and one the count now. Come set, now the pitch. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes. From the belt, the pitch. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Matt Wisler will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Matt Now to the plate, Tucker Barnhart. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Here's the pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And now the Giants are going to get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Fastball well, well outside. Too tight oh, with that guy. one. Three and oh. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. He's set and a 3-0 offering. Hey. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. And this ball is four. taken here for Perfect. ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. Well, he walked him on five the pitches, but that last pitch two. was really Here. good. He missed down, Tough but day. only Tough by up. a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Nicholas Castellanos. Past battles with Matt Whistler. He's just one for six. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Strike one to start the at-bat. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Now the 0-1. I had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. I'm sure the boys are going to blow him up in the clubhouse for that ugly swing right here. But he has a chance to regroup. Take a deep breath, take a step out of the box, and know you got a few to play with. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one, two. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth now strikeout back. in this series alone. So now to the plate, Nick Senzel popped him up. Belt able to pull this one in for route number two. Back to the river. The first baseman, number 19. Next, here is Joey Votto. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now the first pitch. Line towards center field. Dubon has it, and the side is retired. One left for Cincinnati, but they're in front, four to nothing. Cam Bedrosian comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. 
now to bat, Mauricio Dubon. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Mauricio Dubon. set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Pretty well struck, high and deep to left field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. So now into the box is Donovan Solano. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that'll get down for a base hit. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Into the box now, Mike Yastrzemski. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Two and oh. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. Runner at second here with one man out. Outside with that delivery, and it's 3-0 and now. He loses him on ball four. Now back, left field, Alex. Sean Doolittle answers the call from the dugout as he'll try to record the final two outs of this one. Number 63, Sean Doolittle. And stepping in, Alex Dickerson. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Little pauses coming at him with the 0 and 1. That one catches the edge of the zone called the strike. Solano on second. Yastrzemski at first, one gone. Lays off that time and it's 1 and 2. Hit hard, but foul. He'll try again, one, two. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. It's up to a 3-2 full count now. Brandon Belt, who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck.
3 2 pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And another foul ball. He's set. Here's the three and two. On the ground to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throw on to first is in time, and the Giants are down to their final out now. Ready now is Brandon Belt, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. One pitch. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Last strike here for the Giants. Down the first baseline, fielded by Votto, and a step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. When you shut a team out 4 0, it kind of feels like you won like. Eight or ten to nothing, but this one was really never out of reach. Really good pitching and great defense to help them get the win. Four nothing to score tonight. The Cincinnati Reds led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Luis Castillo earns the win his second as he finishes seven innings, allowing only one hit. Alex Wood takes the loss, only his first of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Four runs on five hits, no errors. They left two men on base. For the Giants, no runs, three hits, one error. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 44 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.